Okay then, we'll change the plans here. As many of you know, one of the reasons we came back up here for the holidays is for the grandkids coming home from college. Well, uh, and some of you may or may not know this, but we gave the Toyota to Brandon when he went back to college just last year, the green Toyota. And uh, I have snow tires to go on it, and he's gonna need them because it's gonna snow. And unlike me, where I'm retired, I don't need them so much. If it snows, I don't have to go anywhere, but he does. So, what I'm gonna do is not pull the motor out of this yet. I'm gonna instead crank it and move it back around to where it was. Um, so that when he comes home tomorrow or the next day, we can bring this Toyota right in here, put it up on the lift, and put the snow tires right on it. In fact, I'll probably, you know, while I'm in the process of moving things around, just bring the snow tires in and have them sitting here, uh, make sure the air compressor is drained and ready to go, and that way he can just wheel in here and throw them snow tires, them studded snow tires right on there, and then, uh, he can be on his merry way. So I'm gonna start this thing. I'm gonna put a little dab of gasoline in the carburetor. So the door's gotten cranky since I hadn't been opening and closing it. So where was I at? Uh, I was looking for some gas to put in the carburetor. Yeah, since I don't fit here. I'll go look out there for it. Oh, the joy. Reach over in here manually set the choke. <clears throat> I don't think I've moved it. I think it's still sitting where it was. So we'll put a little few drops of gas down in there. <clears throat> Work the throttle once or twice, maybe. Maybe not. Here it is. There. I mentioned the other day about it. It's got a grinding gear. That's the reason I was going to pull the motor out. So it may not catch right away, but <clears throat> we'll try it. I'll get in here and kind of try to make sure that it's out of gear. That's always better when you take it out of gear first. It is, if I can get a good grip on it, I can spin it over myself by hand. <clears throat> let me uh, let me try putting it in gear, pushing it forward and backwards a little bit. To, uh, turn that motor over to see if I can get to that gear to find some teeth in there. Uh, oh, the joy. They don't have a fan that I can grab hold of. Yeah, see that gear is moving, but it's not even touching the uh, the Bendix moving in, in and out, back and forth like it's supposed to, and spinning, but not even catching the flywheel. It's like I was saying. I'm wondering even now if I pulled the motor out and messed with that flywheel whether that would actually fix it. Because that starter is coming forward. Gear is coming forward. Not, not 
too much. 